Hey there guys, Sparkleof here, and today I have another plugin tutorial. As you can see, I'm on JAWS' server, and um, today we'll be working on the Factions plugin. There's JAWS over there. He's the man who put this all together. Um, it's been really fun. Anyway, let's jump right in. This is going to be a rather long video, so um, the first part uh, will be for members, just regular members who are trying to uh, set up their faction and invite their friends, have fun, build a faction home, stuff like that. Um, so what we want to do first is slash f create. And then you want to have put your faction name, so I'll say tutorial. And then I'll say well, I'll say enter. Then it's going to prompt me. Please enter. Well, you should now put a faction description. If you don't, you can just leave it and whenever you walk into your territory. It will say, um, this is the default faction description or something along those lines. So what I'm going to do is um, I'll just say description test um, faction. Now, when I go over here, and I'm in admin territory, then I'll fly over here. Oh right, I haven't set up any territory. So what I'll need to do to set up territory to protect and get land, slash f claim. Now, what that did was all this area around me, I can't remember how big, but a small area around me is now protected in my faction, which is tutorial. So I'll fly over here, admins, no touchy, and then I'll fly back over here. Tutorial, test faction, right there. So what I'm going to do is on here I'm going to build the worst house ever made. Oops, I need a door. Um, I just about put the door in the corner where you can't get out. Smart me. Um, anyway, so this is my house. And um, Pretend I'm in another faction. Of course, I can't really demonstrate this because Jaws is AFK at the moment. But another faction cannot come over here and say, smack at my wall and break it, which I did. But because I'm in this faction, I have complete control over this. And only the um, buildings and structures on your land will be protected. And how you protect things, uh, see there, I moved off, wilderness. How you protect things is slash F power that shows how much power you have and I have been given max power because I'm an admin okay I'll just pretend I don't it'll say something like 5 out of 10 or 6 out of 10 if there's only one person so the way you get power is just by playing on the server and getting people in your faction so the more people in your faction the more you can claim so I'll say F claim and I've claimed this land now too. So I can expand my house a little bit. And yeah. So that's basically our primary method of grief protection. And it does work very effectively, actually. I quite like it. Now, to get people in your faction, to have friends, wars, battles, whatever, um, this is such a wonky looking house. Anyway, you want to say slash F invite because default is every faction needs to be invited. So F invite and unfortunately we have no test characters just because I'm lazy and don't want to buy another Minecraft account. But um, slash F invite, um, then I'll say whatever your player name is, so say my friend's name is Josh, okay? Slash invite Josh. Well, there's no player named Josh, but it will invite him if he's currently online. And then pretending I'm Josh, I'll say slash F join, and then I have to say the faction. So I'll say tutorial. You are already a member of Tutorial. Well, if I wasn't, I would be right now. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you get people. And then the more people you have, the more power you have. Now, moving on, 
I'll type slash f help and you can just see. So these are the basic commands. Uh, when you start a faction, you'll want to type slash f set home, if you can spell, unlike me. Now, if I go over here, slash f home, I teleport way back here. And so yeah, anyway, f chat. Um, so chat mode is basically if you want to talk to just people in your faction. So you'll do f c f, faction only chat mode. Now the only people who can hear you talking are me, Jaws, and people in your faction. Um, and if you want to get out of that to hear everyone else, and this is particularly useful if you are having a clan battle, um, but I'll get into that later, slash FCP. That's public chat mode. And that gets you back. You can talk to everyone else. Um, now, what you want to do here is, uh, well, you can do the show command. You can just play around with this if you want, slash F help to. Um, yeah, create description tag. So actually, I'm honestly not sure. Oh, yeah, tag is when you look in the chat what comes up. Um, open. That's so by default, a faction is an invite only. Let me just change the time here. By default, a faction is a um, closed faction, which basically means um, you have to have an invite. So if I do slash F open, yes, anyone can join, um, whether they're invited or not. Um, and if you want to de-invite someone, say you invited someone, but you realize they're a griefer and they still haven't joined, you can do slash de-invite. If I can, there we go. And then player name. That was, yeah. OK. Anyway, um, moving on, f help 3. And I failed there just a little bit. And as you can see, by the way, when I chat, trust, test, whatever, clan name appears beside my name. And it's green, which means that anyone in my faction will see my name as green. Now this is particularly handy. Um, F help three when you start um, clan wars, and I'll get into that in a minute. Anyway, radius is one. Okay, I was not aware of that. Anyway, um, auto claim. So that's for people who have a lot of members. They can just F auto claim and they'll just walk around claim land. If you accidentally claimed land, but you don't want it, say you want to put it somewhere else, you can unclaim and reclaim where you want it. Um, kick, kicking players, um, basically ejects them. Um, F mod, it lets them claim land and kick people. Admin, it um, lets you set the description, set player tags. Um, F title. So player's title, so if I do slash F title, and then I'll say sparkle hoof, and then title will be, I don't know, king. Now, it says king sparkle hoof. And when I do, um, well, when I'm just chatting normally, it won't say, but if I do slash F and then I type CF to get into faction chat. When I chat, I get a prefix. And it says right there, King Sparklehoof. Um, just fun little things. Um, anyway, hold on. Recording. Um, I failed spelling there. Anyway, slash F help. Three. Oh, um, that could be a problem. OK, guys, um, we're back. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. F 
help three. Now this will bring, oh, we were just there, slash f help four. Just a little discombobulated. Now, what I want to do is when you're claiming land, if you want to see where it is, um, you can do slash f map. And then it shows me there's a little compass, depending on the way I was facing. And you can see over here, there's a green slash and oop, it's all those slashes, right? This is your map. Now, I'll say slash F no boom, and that toggles off, ah, specifically designated as peaceful. Um, but anyway, that toggles off TNT in your faction area. Um, F owner, if I can, this seems to be a commonly recurring theme, and I'll say sparkle hoof. So you have added sparkle hoof to the owner list of this claimed land. So because I um, claimed that land, say in your faction you were having little apartments or something, you would, each one of you would have an owner listed. Um, and I don't know why my name is no longer capitalized. Oh well. F help. Were we on four? Yes, we were on four. And by the way, the owner list command, you can just play around with all these commands. Owner list command um, basically lists all the owners because it won't always automatically pop up. So slash F disband, we'll get to that, that at the end. Slash F ally. Let's use admins. So, admins were formed that you wish to be an ally. So now over here in admin land, if they um, choose to ally me, that way I would um, have access to their doors, switches, levers, stuff like that. Um, and depending on what you set, you can have building and destroying permissions. Um, F neutral is if you wish to transition from ally to enemy or from enemy to ally or you just don't want anything to do with them. That's always slash F enemy and then faction tag and then when you do that that's where the colored chat comes in. So anyone in an enemy faction will appear a, to have a red name prefix in the chat for their faction and then slash F help six. We're getting through these pretty fast. Um, oh, these are just tips. So, slash, let me just see. I haven't actually explored this far in. Don't tell anyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, door, chest, furnace, dispenser, diode. So those are all the things that if you're an ally, you can use the allied factions. Hello, creeper, butcher. Bam. If you're wondering how I did that, once again, macro keybinds, very useful. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, you can just go through the faction help, go through. Now, finally, I'm going to demonstrate the F disband command, and that is going to terminate my clan, or faction, sorry. And now, anyone can come over here, destroy my stuff, open my chests, well, maybe not if they're protected with LWC as well. Um, I'll get to that in a minute, um, actually in another video. This one's probably getting rather long now, but thank you for sticking through it. If you did, please tell me. It's good to hear that everyone listens, pays attention, stuff like that. And now I can walk over here, no little tips saying this is tutorial, nothing. And when I chat, hello, there's no longer the two stars and then tutorial beside my name. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, this has been Factions plugin tutorial. Um, hope to see you guys on this server. See you later.